Hi beloved friends, it's Tandi Wegaya back again with a prophetic word um, for the 1st of September. Not that I'm saying I'm going to be doing daily prophetic words now, but this is a word that I have for today. Alright, so I'm just going to read what the Lord said because I wrote it down as he was speaking and then I will just um, just elaborate a little bit on, on, on what the situation is around that prophetic word. Okay, so here goes. So I'm going to read off my phone. I am looking for people who will go and do the work. I'm equipping you this season, providing for you like never before. But it's not for you to enjoy alone, but to bring the others along and let them share in the inheritance. I'm dishing out new assignments this season, shifting people out of the old house and into the new one. What will you do with what I'm putting in your hand? And that's the word that the Lord gave me. And the scripture that um, he gave me with that is Isaiah 6 verse 8. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? And I said, Here I am, send me. So this season, God is looking for people that are willing to say, Here I am, Lord, send me. Um, he's looking for people who will say, Lord, you've put this gift, this talent in my hand, and I will go out and do what you're asking me to do. Um, it's not a season for trying to argue with the Lord and trying to, you know, come up with all sorts of excuses and to be busy. Busyness is not of the Lord. It's a time for people to understand what they were created for. Why am I here? What is my purpose? So God is calling people out of their comfort zones. And the main, the biggest comfort zone that God has shown me is the church setting itself, the church building, the church Sunday service. So every Sunday we go to church, we do what we need to do, whether we're serving, some of us are in worship, some of us are ushers, some of us are helping with the teas and the coffees, deacons and all of that. And we have become so comfortable in that setup, in that flow, thinking that with a successful Sunday service, then we've done our job. But that's not what God called us to do. He didn't call for successful Sunday services. He called us to be disciples. He called us to be fishers of men. So we need to go out there and fish and really start fishing because um, people's lives are at stake. At the end of the day, we have to remember that church is not the building. Church is you and it's me. We are the church and we have to be the church. We can't be sitting every Sunday thinking that we are doing church. We don't do church. We are the church. So it's time. It's time for God's people to arise, to get out of their comfort zones and say, okay, great. I went to church on Sunday, but during the week, this is what I'm doing. I'm, I'm getting involved in my community. I'm using my gifts and talents to reach people for the kingdom because I love God. I love Jesus. And therefore I love my brothers and sisters. It all stems down to love. Also, God is saying that it's a time of testing. So we need to apply wisdom. And if you don't have any wisdom, it's a simple thing. Ask him for wisdom. There's a scripture about asking for wisdom um, in the Bible. And I'll put it up here. I can't think of it at the moment, but I'll put it somewhere on the screen. Um, I think it's in James, if I'm not mistaken. And God, is, and God is saying that we must ask for wisdom and we must remember his commandment to love him and to love each other, to basically love each other as we love ourselves, right? Okay, so it's very important to understand and discern the fact that people have been hurt. People have come to the church and they have been hurt and they've been rejected. And I mean, these are a lot of people that had just been saved, had just um, come into Christianity and they're lost out there in this world, not fulfilling their purpose, not living their life. They're being tormented. They're being tormented with meaningless struggles. It's up to mature Christians, to people who have been walking the walk daily with the Lord, doing the things to go and reach out and to go and find the people. We can't expect the people to come to our churches. We have to go. We have to go and make disciples. We have to go and be fishers of men. We have to go and feed Yahushua's flock. We have to go and find the people. I urge you to get up out of that comfort zone and go and find the people. People that are at your job, people that are in your neighborhood, people that you encounter every day. Minister to someone, share the gospel with someone, pray with someone, talk to someone, talk to people every day, find out 
who they really are. Whatever God is equipping you with this uh, season, whatever wonderful things that he has in store for you, he's only going to bestow them upon you if he knows he can trust you with them, if he knows that you are going to use them for love, that you are going to use them for him and to serve. Today, I got such a beautiful revelation. Um, God just said to me, I'm taking care of you. You don't have to worry about yourself, Tandi Wegaya. I'm taking care of you. I just need you to worry about other people. I need you to take care of other people. I need you to go and take care of my people. I'm taking care of you, so there's nothing for you to even worry about yourself. What you will eat, what you will drink, what you will wear, not your problem. Go and be concerned about my people. So that's the word that I have for you today. I really hope that it's blessed you. I'm extremely tired today, guys, So, but I decided to come on here because I really needed to get this word out. Um, so my energy level might just be a bit low, but I'm just really exhausted. It's been a, a long weekend full of activities, and um, it's really actually just shown me that, you know, busyness isn't God's way. Days when I have lots of time to spend with the Lord and really pray and, and read the word and be in his presence are... The most energized days I have because I'm able to connect and and I and and I feel Him and even in that God is showing me that hey even if you had a busy day it's okay I'm still here you haven't lost your connection because it can feel that way so I hope that was an encouragement for somebody um, the word that I gave in the beginning and that that last little piece that I gave so guys remember that He is a good Father and you are special to Him. There's no shadow.